340 Paddler here and I'm going to talk today about my med bag. So I always carry uh, a med bag, actually I carry two of them, one in the boat and my ground crew has the other one. And I keep some things a little bit separate but we'll get into that. Uh, basically I want to be prepared for as much as humanly possible happening during the race because anything can and will happen. So I want to go through a couple of things. First of all, my large med bag is usually a gallon size Ziploc bag that my ground crew carries in a backpack to every landing or checkpoint so that it's always available. In the boat, I keep a smaller pack with enough medications, uh, generally one example of everything I'll show you, in smaller containers, they'll get me through about eight hours, which is what I figure I would need in a worst case scenario to get to the next checkpoint. So what do I carry? Well, first of all, I carry ibuprofen and naproxen. I generally use naproxen during the race. Uh, remember, you're only supposed to take two of these every 12 hours. Don't overdo it. Uh, it will mess up your liver. I have ibuprofen with me as well. Sometimes this works better, but it can mess up your stomach if overused. So be aware of that. And usually I have the little travel containers with me during the race with just enough in them to get me through the length of the race. I also generally carry with me uh, some of these little Pepto-Bismol tablets. These came in handy in 2012. I was having some serious stomach issues and these tended to calm things down quite a bit. Uh, I carry Tums ever since 2015. I got really bad heartburn after Herman in 2015 and 2016. Same thing. I got really bad heartburn at the end of the race. So I carry these just in case. Uh, it's good to pop a couple. They're fairly easy to use. Uh, you don't have to take them early. They work out for me. Uh, I usually carry some triple antibiotic, or at least I have my ground crew carry it, because I'm concerned about stepping on a fish hook, getting a cut, anything else. I don't want a massive infection going during the race. So this is something to keep in mind. I keep a smaller tube in the boat just in case. I keep anti-itch ointment. This is because in 2012 I stopped at Miami and got bitten up pretty good uh, and this saved me at that point so I generally carry some of this with me as well. And I have some anti-diarrheal. Uh, diarrhea can be an issue on the race usually if you get a little too much river water in your mouth. Uh, so something to keep in mind. It just helps uh, get me through to the end of the race if necessary. Some kind of butt paste, this is diaper rash ointment, but uh, something to, let me put this in the safest possible terms, uh, lube up your crotch. Um, you're going to be moving a lot and you don't want to chafe down there. It tends to be rather a problem. Uh, so having something with you that you can uh, sort of lube things up is helpful. Uh, I also have some cold and sinus liquid gels. These are daytime. Uh, basically these are, these are also massively expired. These are just in case something happens. You get a sinus headache in the middle of the race, something like that. Basically I'm trying to cover all my bases. Sometimes I'll carry uh, a Sudafed or two for congestion or any number of other things that could come up. Most of these I've never used during the race. In five years I've never touched them. Uh, but I carry them anyway. My ground crew also usually has extra electrolyte tabs for me. Uh, they're individually wrapped in little pill bags like so, so that I can take one dose every so often as necessary. Now, I also keep a separate bag which is specifically for blisters. You will thank me later, probably by Catfish Katie's or Jefferson City. Uh, these are a godsend. These are uh, blister uh, band-aids and these are fantastic. 
You put them on, you do not take them off until you have finished the race. If you take them off, it will tear the blister open. But they're fantastic. I also have multiple forms of tape. I personally like hockey tape. It's difficult to tear, but the stuff will stick and just stay on there forever. Uh, I have regular athletic tape just in case. Again, I tend to have, this is stuff my ground crew carries, so I tend to bring a little more than needed. And then I have uh, whatever tape this is, because it seemed like a good idea at the time. So what I do is the blister kit I do not carry with me. That's something the ground crew has. They'll dry my hands off and apply that at a checkpoint. Um, and if you have prescription medications, get one of those uh, little cases where it breaks up by day and time your different medications. That's always very helpful. If you do have prescriptions, remember anything that goes on the water with you, you have to be willing to destroy. So take smaller amounts, maybe use the pill bags to uh, work out exactly how much you need. And I will deal with the issue of NSAIDs and pain relievers in another video. There's a lot of uh, talk about what should and should not be used and I'll deal with that later on. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, quals, qualms, quandaries, curse words, or you have a suggestion for another video, please leave it in the comments below. And until next time, this is 340 Paddler telling you to keep, the pad keep your paddle in the water. Hopefully I get that right next time.